What's up guys? So we're back ordered on our crystal tack rags and they sent me these, uh, this version here in to use. It's crazy how everything is on back order, even a tack rag right now in this day and age. So we got this job in here today and it's an Audi and it's got a little bit of slime on it. We've cleaned it, lacquer thinned it, prep salted it and waterborne it. But I'm gonna use my technique like the one I showed you guys before for the fish eyes with the uh, wet bed. So you guys know I don't use the wet bed that often but when I see that something's really, really lubricated with something on it, after I do all my steps, I'll put the uh, wet bed down over the whole job and that'll seal it off from any kind of fish eye. So that's one of the ways that I like to use the uh, inner coat clear and that's the uh, water base. So that water base doesn't react as much as a solvent will. So once you seal that off with that water base, you've cleaned that panel off and you've put down that wet bed, you have really no chance of having any kind of a fish eye anymore. So we're gonna shoot this one. I'm gonna show you my little wet bed trick for the fish eyes and any other kind of contaminations. We'll try these uh, new tack rags out. I can tell I don't like them as much because they got a lot more lint on them. So let's shoot it. sealed up and now we're going to be moving into the wet bed and this is the water base ultra nine system here from sherwin williams so i like to use my wet bed to seal off the panel from any chance of fish eyes or any other contaminants even after you do all your your steps of cleaning so we're not just you know doing this on a dirty panel we've cleaned it with prepsol waterborne cleaner and even lacquer thinner to make sure we're good. But this is one other step. And you guys know I showed you that in one of my other videos there about it, but I like it because these darker colors, it won't show up on, it won't darker the panel like it will on a silver. So I feel comfortable when I'm using this on these darker colors because I don't think it's gonna darken the panel up. So we're gonna go ahead now and put this on. And uh, it really does a good job of sealing off this panel and you guys know this is a sealer that's a solvent and the clear is a solvent. So you could use this on a regular base coat, clear coat job and uh, get away with it too if you think you have something that may react. So I'm gonna get into putting this on now and then we'll let it set up and we'll move into the base with it. So that's the wet bed and it's setting up now. It's definitely cool looking stuff, but that's the way that I use it. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis to blend out my colors. And I know there's a lot of guys out there in the business that use it and it helps them out. But to me, it's just one more step that has to dry. And uh, I like to get through my jobs without it. That way I don't have to wait for that to dry and also have a chance of darkening some of these lighter colors. But like I said, on this one here, it's not gonna hurt it to use. So when you need it, you need it. And if you need it when you guys use it, go ahead and use it and uh, you know do what works for you. So we're gonna get into the base now. You can put your base right over the top of this while it's wet still too, which does help you sometimes with the dry overspray. So go right into your base while this is still wet and you'll have less chance of that overspray blowing all around, it'll stick right onto that wet bed and have less chance of that. So that is one other good feature of it. So let's do the base.
is on the car we put one heavy coat and then two drop coats to even out the metallic on this one so this is a dark color and uh, it's hard to see that but it's definitely dropped out and now we'll be moving into our clear coat so using that wet bed definitely now eliminates the chance of having any fish eyes on this job so it's like the old school waterborne primer that they used to use back years back if any of you guys know when they had a problem with reactions, they'd always use a water base to seal that panel off and have any chance of uh, reactions like on the old Saturn parts because it would eat right into that because that aggressive uh, solvent from the urethane primers and the old lacquer primers. So they'd use a waterborne primer on that and some other different you know, parts and cars through the years to seal everything off with a waterborne. So that's the same thing I'm doing here what this base clear is uh, sealing the panel off and now we're going to be able to clear it and just move right through this job and be done with it because I know now everything is sealed up. We have our base here so we have a clean base coat and now even on my blends because of that wet bed this is all clean the same as that would be without the pigment in the color. So now when I clear over the top of this I know there's no chance of fish eyes so let's Get it cleared up. So I was showing you those chips on that hood because that's really also where that wet bed really works well. If there's any wax that you can't get out of that crack around the chip, you won't get any fish eyes once you put the wet bed down. So wet bed worked out really good on this one and uh, I like to use it only when I know I'm going to have an issue like this. So hope you guys got something out of it. Maybe you guys can use it and it might get you out of a bind. So I showed you the back of the wheelhouse because you guys know when them Armor All tires are slinging up, they're shooting them back here and that panel came out nice and clean with no fish eyes. So this job here is kind of beat up. The front end of this thing's got rock chips all over the bumper and over the hood. So that's when I knew this would be a good candidate for the wet bed. That way I don't have any chances of them fish eyes reacting around those chips where you can't get them cleaned out of the hole really good so we'll see you on the next one guys hope you got something good out of this one give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell that way you stay up to date on the uh, videos